Today we will be working with drawings and tablet. Drawings are basically used to associate two tables and merge their data together. If you have worked with sets or SQL drawings, you would understand what we are going you would have understand some of the concept of what we are going to learn today by the figure shown on screen. Now, there are four types of drawings that Tableau allows us. A left join, a right join, an inner join, and a full outer join. We'll grow, go through each one, one by one. Starting with left join. Let's assume we have two tables, table one and table two. Table one shows the name and age and other personal details of an employee based on their ID. Table two shows the department, the salary, and other company-based information of an employee. Now, in case of a left join, Tableau would first copy all of this data and paste it. Then it will call, copy the column names from table 2. Now, Tableau would go ahead and match the ID numbers for ID in table 1 and ID in table 2. So, for 1 and 1, uh, ID 4 is not in table 1. It would not be considered in a left join. Left join only gives us the output values for the, uh, for the data points in table A or table 1. So, this would be ignored and the sales tape, uh, the ID 2 data would be copied and pasted. Since there is no value for ID 3 in table 2, Tableau would depict this as null for all table 2 columns. This is how a left join works. Basically, it shows the data for table for rows in table 1 and merges that merges the columns of table 2 into it. Right join does the opposite of this. It will copy the column names from table 1 and the data from table 2. Now it will match the ID from table 1. So 1. Since there is no 4, it will once again be null values all around. Then 2, and again the 3 would not be considered since there is no ID number 3. Yes. Now, in an inner join, only the intersection of table 1 and 2 is considered. Basically, the IDs that exist in both tables. Copy the column names of both the tables. Then the IDs would be matched. So there's one and there's two. And the information of one and two would be displayed. This is how an inner join works. The outer join, the, the outer join is basically a union. You will copy all the data points from this, then the column names from this. Now, uh, again, for one, the data points for one would be obtained, for two, the data points for two would be obtained, and for three, uh, it will all be in null values. But over here, the four won't be left out, It'll be included and pasted. So, to recap, in a left join, the values that are only present in table two would be would not be accounted for. In a right join, the values present only in table one would not be accounted for. In an inner join, the values present in both tables would be the only values used and in an outer join 
all values that are present in our table would be used. Now we'll be working, we'll show you an example of how to connect, how to join tables in tab. We'll go to connect to data. And I have saved the table one and two showed as Microsoft Excel file. Because when you will be using it for uh, visualization purposes, it will be bigger data sets, but this was easier to look at. So table one. I want table two as well, so I will add a Microsoft Excel file of table two. So in order to create a join, you double click on this sheet one. Go to table two. Select the sheet one and drop it. This is how we got a join. Right now we have an inner join. I want to see the left join. So I have to click on this inner join diagram and select left. You can see now ID 1, 2, 3, the data for that matched with the data for ID 1 and 2 from the table 2. And third one is null values. I will toggle through the other tables and you can pause and see that they are similar as well. So, this is how joins works.